The American Diabetes Association brings you the very latest cutting edge advances in diabetes research, prevention, and care. It's the 80th Scientific Sessions, a virtual experience, and we're ADA TV. Welcome to the 80th ADA Scientific Sessions. It's a different world from the one we left you in last year, but with a five-day meeting ahead of us, we can't wait to experience a full schedule of groundbreaking science. Coming up, we look at how researchers are using AI to better diagnose diabetes, and we catch up with Dr. William Polanski, this year's Outstanding Educator and Diabetes Award winner. First, it's time for our daily rundown of meeting highlights. Today, President of Healthcare and Education, Dr. Mary DeGroote, tells us what to watch out for on Friday. I am pleased to welcome you to the 80th Scientific Sessions, our very first virtual Scientific Sessions. I'm very excited to share with you uh, highlights from the first day of our Scientific Sessions offering, which will be Friday, June 12th. And in particular, I'd love to draw your attention to the mini symposium entitled Improving Type 1 Diabetes Management in Young Adults, Time to Re-Strategize. This interesting program will talk about what it takes for young adults to be able to make the transition in managing their type 1 diabetes. Another fantastic mini symposium that's coming up it will be chaired by Aaron Michaels entitled Combination Immunotherapy to Preserve Beta Cell Function in Type 1 Diabetes. And then in the afternoon, on Friday, a symposium on ethnic and racial disparities in maternal, perinatal, and neonatal mortality, and then a symposium on using technologies to track physical activity and improve health, chaired by Kong Chen. In this symposium, you'll learn all about different ways of tracking physical activity in our modern technological era. So good news that you can use, so to speak. And then later in the afternoon, come join us for oral presentations. We have the Behavioral Medicine, Clinical Nutrition, Education and Exercise oral presentations, which features the ADA President Select Abstract presented by Danielle Hessler and her colleagues entitled Reductions in Management Distress Following a Distress Intervention. And last but not least, a session on the teamwork that it takes for the beta cell to function. We look forward to having you join us for all of the sessions in this first virtual ADA scientific sessions. Thank you. ADA TV is brought to you virtually from the 80th scientific sessions of the American Diabetes Association. Make sure to watch daily for highlights, interviews, and insights from around the world at the very cutting edge of diabetes research. Follow these links to see it all. Now to Iowa, where researchers are working on systems that use artificial intelligence to better diagnose patients. Let's take a look. At a diabetic retinopathy epidemic is the primary cause of blindness in the U.S. The sad thing is it's almost entirely preventable if we catch it early. People with early diabetic retinopathy do not have symptoms, but that's the time we need to catch them so we can prevent visual loss and blindness. IDX is a company that creates AI done the right way. We make autonomous AIs for the diagnosis and ultimately treatment of diseases in different parts of the body to lower the cost of healthcare, improve the quality and improve access for patients. From a clinical perspective, we developed IDXDR making sure that it fits the clinical workflow but also the standards of care for diabetic retinopathy. I really feel that, in general, the use of autonomous AI for uh, medical applications and diagnosis will be a very good thing for the healthcare system. While you're attending this virtual meeting, make sure you visit the 3D Exhibit Hall where you can interact in real time with representatives from exhibiting companies. You should also stop by the ADA Bookstore to find the latest titles in science and clinical care, as well as a consumer section, including cookbooks that can help your patients prepare tasty meals that follow ADA nutrition guidelines. 
With me right now is Dr. William Polanski, the Outstanding Educator in Diabetes Award recipient. Thank you for being here. Congratulations to you, first of all. I know as you try to teach people, you have been very focused on behavioral diabetes. So tell me about your motivation in that and why it's so critical. Well, I think as, as we all know, I mean, diabetes is to a large degree, a, is a behavioral disease. I mean, it's one of the few chronic illnesses we have that require so much work and effort for people to do every day to be successful. Um, so behavior is front and center, at least it needs to be, and that's why I've dedicated so many decades to it. You're talking specifically, I know, in the scientific sessions about self-management, education, and support. So talk about what some of the successes are there, but what some of the real challenges are. We have lots and lots of evidence now that diabetes self-management, education, and support really makes a big difference. On the other hand, we know that the majority of people with diabetes actually get very little, in fact, ever really ever make it to any kind of formal diabetes education program. Um, and of those who do make it, most of those people end up dropping out before the program is over. My major message is that so much of what's going on, unfortunately, with well-meaning educators all over this country, is we are providing group programs that are not that interesting for folks, that are boring and contributing to people dropping out, and that we have to do a better job. And partly the way to do that is to step back from this feeling that we have to provide people with more and more and more and more and more information, which isn't necessarily going to work very well, and instead think about how we have conversations with people, think about how we really in can interact with people in very personal ways, even in group settings. It's Dr. William Polanski, who is the Outstanding Educator in Diabetes Award recipient. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks, my pleasure. Great insights there from Dr. Polanski. Make sure to catch his lecture on Saturday. That's it for our first virtual edition of ADA TV, but there's plenty more to come. Tomorrow, we catch up with Banting Medal winner, Dr. Ellie Farinini, to hear all about his game-changing work in insulin resistance. We'll see you then.